Welcome back to the Hank Strange Situation, Lifestyles of the Locked and Loaded. Welcome back to the channel. I'm Hank Strange. Today, we're doing something a little bit different on the channel. We're talking RVs. And I'm here with my friend Dan from Buyer Auto Salvage, Am here in my local neighborhood, right? Yep, Gilchrist yep. County. That's where we're at in Florida. And uh, I've got a special project that the only person I know that could do anything about it is Dan. So here is a 1980 Champion RV that Lola and I bought even before we started doing the YouTubes. Okay, it's basically, I think it's got like a 70s chassis, Dodge chassis on it, and it has a 440 Mopar engine in there, right? Correct, yep. Yeah. So that's what it would have been in trucks back in the late 70s, early 80s. Back in the 70s and 80s, uh, Chrysler made a motorhome chassis that almost everybody rebodied and made their own bodies for. If you see right. a late 70s motorhome, there's a good chance it's got a 440 Mopar, 727 torque flight transmission, built very similar to this there's right. millions of them on the road yeah so I'm gonna give you guys a quick run through like to show you what's inside I just wanted you to see what's on the outside of it and you know Dan was telling me I actually threw up a picture on Facebook and asked people what I should do with this thing and we pretty much hit all across the spectrum from get rid of it to fix it up you know make it into a uh, Hank Strange shooting vehicle all kinds of stuff like that and what we decided to do was make it diesel and four by four, right? Yes, sir. Yeah, so that way I can get out on the road, you know, do my long journeys, stop along the way and visit gun stores and ranges and manufacturers and all that kind of stuff. And uh, be able to go off road a little bit when I get out to the range, right? Yes, sir. So um, we're gonna kick this project off now. What's the first thing you're gonna do? First thing we're gonna do is get rid of the old drivetrain. Uh, we're gonna get it up and running first to make sure that it's good, make sure everything works. That way we can sell it to somebody that needs it for their motor home or for their hot rod. Right. 440 Chrysler motor is a great motor for a lot of things. Unfortunately, it's a little old and outdated for what you're wanting to use it for. Yeah. You're, you're going to be going cross country. Yeah. You know, uh, six, seven, eight miles to the gallon at its very, very best. Yes. <laughs> Powerful, lots of fun, yeah. but getting hard to find parts for a modern drivetrain will really make it a lot better. Make it better, road. yeah. So our donor vehicle is gonna be what, like a Zeros vehicle? The engine and transmission will be coming out of a, out of a 2001 Dodge 2500. 5.9 Cummins, 24 valve diesel. Okay. Tried and true, wonderful engine, been around for a long time, and they're, they're a great workhorse and make a lot of power. Right, okay, cool. So if anyone needs that 440 out there, let us know, right? Yes, sir. Because we can, we can supply you with that 440 because that's gonna be the first thing we take out. So now what are we gonna do in terms of the drivetrain and changing it and making this into a 4x4 basically. Well what we're going to do, we're using 2007 Dodge 3500 uh, front and rear axles. This okay. is the rear axle out of a 2007 Dodge 3500 that was in a, in a, 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 a large wreck. Right, okay. Um, very beefy looking. Very beefy. This is made by AAM. Um, Chrysler's been using AAM since the early 2000s. Great axle manufacturer, great parts. Um, this is going to be the rear, right? This is the rear. Disc brake rear. You know, it's, it's a very large, heavy-duty system. Uh, it'll work out very well for you. And the, the big advantage to using the modern stuff over the old stuff is the ability to get parts. Okay. And there's more engineering into it. Okay. So that's the rear. The front is right here. Okay. <laughs> this is also made by AAM for Dodge. It's a 2007 Chrysler front end. Right. Uh, that's what will be going in place of it. Yeah. Uh, we will be converting it all over to dually. Um, but other yeah. than that, the suspension will be going in as you see it. So the rear is going to be dually, the fronts are going to be normal. Single, yeah. Single up here. And we probably won't have these tires and rims, right? Nope, there'll be a different wheel and tire combo all the way around. Yeah. yeah. So that way, you know. These are cool tires and rims, but... They're just not practical for <laughs> long distance, and they're not, they're not load rated for as much weight as we're going to be putting on this thing. Oh, okay, yeah. So we were talking about the fact that this will get a little bit off, up off the ground, but we're not going to... It's probably not a good idea to... Uh, boost it up any higher than that, right? We're not gonna to go too high. What we wanna do is we wanna go high enough that we have good suspension travel to work with the suspension that we've got. Probably six to eight inches over what it is right now. Mm -hmm. uh, any higher than that, and it's just gonna get pointless. Yeah. You know, we wanna right. get high enough that we have good clearance and that when you're going into um, uh, off the road areas that you can find 
you know, that you can traverse it without having to worry about digging into the bottom end or high side right. or anything like that. Exactly. And we're updating it enough so that if I get into trouble anywhere, I'll be able to get replacement parts and stuff like that, right? Yeah, you'll be able to go into any parts house and uh, tell them, hey, you know, I've got a 2001 Dodge I need the this and that for for the engine or transmission. Right. Or a 2007 Dodge for the suspension parts. Right. Uh, basically, the only thing that'll be left on here that'll be the 70s Dodge will be the frame itself. and. Yeah. Nothing's gonna happen to the frame. Yeah, it'll still be Mopar. <laughs> all Mopar all the way. <laughs> yeah, exactly. So Lola and I have done some stuff, like I bought these expensive RV mirrors. <laughs> yeah, and they're still on there, and they still look good, which is actually pretty good, because they've been sitting out in the sun here. I'm actually surprised. So that's, you know, we've done that, and we've gutted everything inside. So we're gonna go inside, because we're gonna do some stuff on the interior, right? So let's go in here. Hey, do you want me to grab that, Lola? Okay, just be careful coming up here. Already slipped a little bit. All right, so let's give the camera there a little chance to switch over. So basically, this is what we've got up here, up front. As you can tell, uh, most of the stuff has been taken out. We still have the seats and uh, steering wheel and all that. Some of that's some of that's going to change, right, Dan? Or most of it. The uh, the interior will change drastically from what it is to what we want, um, based upon what you choose. You know we can we can go with more modern style stuff. We can go with performance based stuff. There's a lot we can do there. Okay, Dan's just moving some stuff around so we can see the engine. So you can get down to the engine, see what, yeah. what's there, what kind of room we've got to work with. Yeah. So here you got your basic 440 Mopar engine. Great engine tried and true they last forever but it's just outdated for what we're about to do yeah and it was running when i first bought it it has been sitting for a few years while i've been shooting guns and stuff um but it was running and i'm sure it's easy to get running we're just deciding to since i want to go diesel we might as well just take it out you know but uh it was a good engine and it was moving around all the stuff that was in here man you know now I think when we change that engine, we're going to use the steering and a bunch of controls and stuff from the donor vehicle, right? We'll be using the steering uh, box itself. The steering column will probably stay. Oh, okay. Uh, but we can change the column if you choose. Oh, okay. So just yeah. right anything, we, we can update it if you want. Um, you know, there's still some decisions to be made on the interior. Yeah. But uh, generally speaking, the entire drivetrain will be 2007 Dodge. So. Oh, okay. And if you can see, we did have uh, this brushed aluminum wall. You know, we did have that put in when we gutted it. I think we also we also have a solar panel on the roof and we have a battery box down there. But I ripped out everything because I really don't need all the stuff. What what I'm thinking is I'd like something I can get on the road, travel, but I can stop in truck stops and all that stuff. Um, I need to be able to move my equipment, shoot videos, and then edit the videos and get them out to the people while I'm on the road. So I really don't need that much except storage and maybe someplace I can edit, like I was thinking over here would be nice. You know, put an editing table, maybe a monitor I can connect my laptop to, you know, and do some other things. When it gets all done, this will be a great command center. Yeah. It's gonna be fun, I'm looking forward to it. So I just wanted to, I just wanted to show you guys that. Let's, let's go back outside. So I just wanted to make this quick, show you this project that we're taking on. And obviously I'm not gonna be doing a lot of the work because Anyone who watches my channel knows I'm not very mechanically inclined. But you do know your guns. Yes, do know my guns. I'm, I'm learning about that. And you know, that's why it's always good to have friends that know about stuff, right? That's, I can learn from you as well. That's right. You know, so we're, I'll come back here with Dan as they're doing things. I'll come back and get pictures and video and keep you guys updated. So just follow us. Don't forget to like, share, and subscribe. And if you're in the North Central Florida area and you're looking for parts and all that kind of stuff, Fire Auto Salvage. Fire Auto Salvage, Florida.